Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you want to support me more, go follow me over at Twitch at twitch.tv slash RetroMarioTwitch. And make sure to subscribe here on the YouTube channel, because I would love to get a silver play button, I would love to see 100,000 subscribers. Anyway, enough of me taking up your time, enjoy the video. Hey, little cherry. What brings you over to my house? Huh? Well, yeah, of course I'm packing. Well, I'm gonna be going away for just a few days. I have a few things that I have to deal with myself. No, don't worry. I will be coming back. It's not going to be like a life-changing trip. I just need to go talk to a few friends who are over in the States. Mm-hmm. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm not moving anywhere. Because this is my home. I ain't got nowhere else to go, so... Why move away from a house that you can't even go away from? Then I can stop packing to talk to you for a little bit. So... What's up? Hmm, I see, okay. So, Shigaraki chose you to become the next experiment. Well, I would all have to say is congratulations to you and your newfound powers. Oh, they haven't done it yet. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to put you in a little secret, little cherry. Come, sit down. You see, Shigaraki was also, and still is, an experiment to the scientists and... All for one. Of course, he was already powerful enough with his quirk decay. But now, ever since the boss has given him some of his power, and really just transferred most of his power over to him, he's become a lot more powerful as of recently. He's still trying to learn how to control the power in itself, but he's a quick learner. Mm hmm. It caused him a lot of pain before he actually got used to all the quirks inside of his body. Because the scientists, well, he'd run tests on him. And basically bring Shigaraki down to his knees and pass out with all the extreme tests that he would do. Well, I mean, it's kind of necessary. Because with all those quirks inside your body, you have no idea what could happen to your own personal self. I mean... You saw what happened to him last time he fought with almost all of his powers. He almost completely disintegrated himself. But luckily, 
He's still getting tests run on him, but he's learned to control most of the quirks. Yep, that's exactly what's gonna happen to you, little cherry. You're gonna have a lot of quirks inside of your body that you can't control normally like your normal quirk. So, the scientist is gonna have to run a lot of tests on you. And who knows, maybe even the scientist will bring his own quirk into your body. He's done it before with others. I've seen him do it. Well, if you're still useful to Shigaraki after you survive all the testings and whatnot, he might make you a second-hand man. Or even, if you're not useful, he might just take your brain and transfer into a Nomu. Mm-hmm. He's done that a few times with people. Brought them over here, saw if their quirk was useful, knocked them out, went them, go through surgery, and the scientists transferred its brain, or their brain, into a new functioning Nomu. But of course, Nomus are quite ignorant, and they don't really know how to speak proper English for a little while. So then that's when Shigaraki steps in to tame them. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're strong enough, little oh, cherry. You'll survive the testings, I believe in you. Yeah, well, let's try not to think like that. Because if you think like that, then something bad will happen. So, let's direct your thoughts away from that real quick. Oh, well, I mean, the people I need to talk to in America, they have a few of those, um, quirk-stopping bullets that Overhaul made not that long ago. Apparently, they were working with him, and now they brought that product over to America. I might... Depends on the conversations and deals that we make. Although, I wouldn't be less expected of them to not hand over the bullets without a price, you know. Well, I mean, if anything, I would have to ask Shigaraki to get some money so we can get those bullets out over here. Other than that, I'm pretty sure they'll just hand them over. Even if there is a price for it. Mm -hmm. No, you don't need to help me pack. I'm perfectly fine doing it by myself. <clears throat> A little bit. I haven't been sleeping as much as I should have. Well, I mean... Working and whatnot. Doing all sorts of things that... I'm told to do by Shigaraki. He's been making me... Work a lot later. Uh, simple robberies and whatnot. Causing chaos in the city. Late at night so people can't really... Identify me. Or anything like that. I've also, uh... 
gained the hobby of dressing up in different clothes. So they can't really identify me by my clothing anymore. Yeah, that's why I'm dressed up like this. So once I go into the airport, all they would have to do is recognize me by my face. Oh, it's going to be really simple, honestly. Yeah, but I'm going to have Toga uh, look at a photo of myself and then have her turn into me while I'm hiding in a marble. Yep, he's going to be making... He's going to turn me into a marble so he can hide myself into the suitcase. Togo's coming with me, but she's not packing anything. She's going to be standing by as backup, basically. Mm -hmm. So, if you don't mind, I would like to pack my things before I miss my flight. Alright, little cherry, I'll make sure to text you. See ya.